While U.S. ships move out, U.K. ships head to Black Sea over Ukraine-Russia tensions. And this is a topic report. U.K. warships to sail for Black Sea in May as Ukraine-Russia tensions rise. That's the top link that I chose for this report. This is NDTV.com. And the topic that I chose is Ukraine-Russia-Britain-U.S. latest. Russian ambassador warns, uh, well, let's let's stick with this story here, the excerpt from NDTV. British warships will sail for the Black Sea in May amid rising tensions between Ukraine and Russia, the Sunday Times newspaper reported, citing senior naval sources. The deployment is aimed at showing solidarity with Ukraine and Britain's NATO allies, the newspaper reported. One Type 54 destroyer, well, let's see if they show a picture of their lovely destroyer. There you go. Well, that's a, that's a, that's a Royal Navy carrier. Let's see, where are we at? One Type 54 destroyer armed with anti-aircraft missiles and an anti-submarine Type 23 frigate. Frigate will leave the Royal Navy Carrier Task Group in the Mediterranean and head through the Bosphorus into the Black Sea, according to the report. Now, these are, I mean, these are token ships. You're not going to be able to deal with the Russians if there was a conflict. And remember, there's not going to be a conflict between the British and the Russians because they both have nuclear weapons. It's just not going to happen. I'm just telling you. There's not going to be a war between Russia and the U.S. There's going to be a proxy war, not a war. But the ships are used to try to aid in electronic communications and electronic warfare and whatnot. So they are vital military assets in that in that sense. And looking on to uh, think about what's going on in the Ukraine, we have this next headline from the Sun.UK. Russian ambassador warns of bloodbath in Ukraine and vows to respond if troops move to area. Dan Keane wrote this one, and there's an excerpt. The Russian ambassador to the UK has warned of a bloodbath in Ukraine and vows to respond if Kiev moves troops to the Donbass region. Andrea Kelly said Moscow had no intention of a large-scale military conflict, despite tensions soaring between the two countries. And let's just shift this out here. I want to check out, actually, I want to check out this, the Donbass region. Let's see what the Donbass region is. Images for Donbass region. And there you go. That's the Donbass region. That's what it looks like. So you get a sense of what that looks like. And get back to our, our headlines here. French President Emmanuel Macron says international community must draw clear red lines with Russia. So Macron is, uh, is, is, is coming out strong from... This is a reddit.com link, so let's see who this is really from. I do use reddit.com as a vital source of uh, news intelligence, if you will, and they've pro proven to be very valuable to me. French President Emmanuel Macron says the international community must draw clear red lines with Russia. This is from CBS News. The international community must... Well, I'm not going to read that again. I've read it twice. In an interview with the Face the Nation moderator Margaret Brennan, Macron said he fully, quote-unquote, fully, shares... Mr. Biden's desire to open dialogue with Russia. However, he said it was important to be clear with Putin when we are not aligned. This is the only way to be credible. I think that sanctions are not sufficient in itself, in themselves. But sanctions are part of the package. I do prefer a constructive dialogue, but to have a constructive and efficient dialogue, you need credibility. Nobody has credibility. You're a nation state. There are no cred There's no credibility. Nation states murder human beings on a regular basis if they can get away with it. They have to. They rule by death. They rule through the heart of the earth. So uh, what Macron is really saying is, uh, listen, Russia, we want you to believe that we have the power to mess up your plans. And so you will uh, basically allow us to continue to influence the Ukraine or Ukraine. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ukraine. Donbass region. Let's go to Donbass region again here. Ukraine. Just, just remember, there's, there's the Don, Donbass region right here. This is uh, where we, I guess they don't want uh, the, the, the troops in or the, the Ukrainians to uh, mess with things. Y you notice Donbass where it's at? It's right next to Russia. If you're going to put troops into Russia, if you're going to be uh, uh, aggressive and putting, you're, you're right up to the Russian border now. And remember, see where the Crimea is? You see this Azov, the Azov Sea? You see the entrance into the Black Sea, rich with, with all kinds of stuff? You see, that's what they're trying to prevent. They don't want the West to be able to cut them off. It is a geopolitical necessity for Russia to not allow Ukraine 
to fall into the hands of Western influence. That's that's all this is. Nothing more, nothing less. There's no there's no right and wrong. That is the reality of this nation state. They can't allow it. And a couple other headlines here. Ukraine may have to rely on coalition of the willing or is NATO unlikely to intervene? That's from where is this from? Yeah, you give me one of them Google News things. There, uh, this is from Express.uk. And then Russia is not the aggressor in Ukraine. Ambassador to UK says that's from SputniksNews.com. Russia deploys a 50 airborne early warning aircraft on 50 uh, A50. That's an A50. That's the name of the aircraft. Airborne warning uh, uh, aircraft on western border. That's from Defense Blog. And finally, Russia's state. TV claims takeover of UK border is inevitable as UK plans to send warships to Black Sea by next month. There you go. 